herzlich willkommen im Staatsballett Berlin. Mein Name ist Christiane Theobald. Ich bin die designierte kommissarische Intendantin des Staatsballetts Berlin und habe Sie heute hier in die Studios geholt. Sie können hier einmal schauen, wo wir trainieren in diesen wunderbaren Räumlichkeiten. Hier werden Proben gemacht von Nussknacker, Giselle, Schwanen, Sela Bayadere, aber genauso von Sharon Eyal, Half-Life oder Strong oder Eggman, Lip, also von ganz klassisch bis ganz modern. Wir haben jetzt die Möglichkeit, dieses hier zu sehen und ich habe die Ehre, Sie dann auf die Bühne zu geleiten, weil wir dort Ihnen Pas de Deux und Soli zeigen werden. Herzlich willkommen! Hier sind wir jetzt im Foyer de la Danse, auch ein sehr besonderer Ort. Wir haben als Hommage an die Opera Garnier in Paris diesen Raum hier Foyer de la Danse genannt. Hier treffen sich Tänzer, hier trifft sich Publikum mit Tänzern, hier haben wir Fortbildung, Informationsveranstaltung, Freunde und Förderer treffen hier auf Tänzer und Tanz ist klasse, unser Education-Programm. Die treffen sich auch immer hier, um dann die unterschiedlichen Kurse zu machen. Also hier ist ein Ort der Begegnung und das ist das Foyer de la Danse. Und jetzt gehen wir zur Bühne. Komm, wie mal mit. Hier ist schon die Dekoration für unser Dornröschen eingetroffen und wir hoffen, dass wir bald wieder probieren können. Ja, jetzt sind wir hier im Auditorium. Die Bühne wird vorbereitet für unsere Drehs. Wir leben in sehr besonderen Zeiten und diese Zeiten gehen an die Substanz der Tänzer. Wir waren lange in der Isolation und es war ein großer Meilenstein, dass wir zurückkehren konnten, in die Ballettsäle zusammen trainieren können. Aus dieser Situation heraus hat sich die Idee entwickelt, einen Galaabend zusammenzustellen für Sie, für unser Publikum, das wir so schmerzlich vermissen. Der energetische Austausch zwischen Ihnen und den Tänzern, der fehlt uns sehr. Aber so können wir wenigstens From Berlin with Love für Sie eine Gala aufnehmen und zu Ihnen senden.
I've got TV tooth, they call it. TV tooth? TV tooth is when they surprise you and they put these tiny needles in your scalp and listen to see if you notice it or not. I didn't notice it. They have this fantastic, expensive equipment they touched me with. And when they touch you, there are two contact points that touch before the other two. And then they're all collected and begin to fuse together like, like some kind of a nuclear fusion, except that it's not, it's not nuclear fusion, it's human. Human fusion, like what NASA does. Some kind of a heat extraction that I just don't do so well in. That's why I came by ambulance. I came right up to one of them and tried to sell the last teeny little, teeny little one for money that they just didn't have. I should have just given it to them for free. And maybe then they would stop calling on a 5150 because of all the fillings that I have in my teeth. But I should stop thinking. So I stopped that thought. They tell me I've got TV tooth. They call it TV tooth. TV tooth is when they surprise you and they put these tiny needles in your scalp and listen to see if you notice it or not. I didn't notice it. They have this fantastic, expensive equipment they touch me with. They said to me, we can check your head and see if the bumps show up bruises, or if the electricity is a little different across the top of your scalp. We guarantee you social security from them. Injury on its own is considered to be some kind of a mental dysentery kind of thing. And so, and so, okay, okay, let's go. Then they put the needles in. The last one they put in like this. And I had thought, but then they pulled them out, they pulled them out, but they left a teeny little, teeny little, teeny little bar in there and all. And all the places that they took me, somebody recorded it. And somebody who wanted to didn't. And somebody sold it to somebody else, but I don't know who. I didn't receive any of that information because of how thick the dental in my teeth is. And those needles, those needles were easy to focus the area of field pickup reception because of how thick the dental in my teeth is. I think, I think that it's people like us, technicians, wealthy te technicians and nameless institutes and people, people, and people that do stuff just like NASA. I get to the point with the mental process. Something in my mind just starts to take over. When I think that I'm doing good, something mental takes over, and I'm not quite sure what it is, but it scares me. Years ago, years ago, I didn't have to think about that. Years ago, years ago, I didn't have to think about that one thing. I was a little less paranoid a little less crazy. So that's why I called the police. Nobody else was doing it. Nobody else was interested, except for all those people that work at the 7-Eleven. They're always on the phone talking about me, 
especially in the summertime when it's hot outside. And those d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d I don't know. I do know that it's stopping me from getting a boyfriend. And it's stopping me from driving, like in China or somewhere, fighting every day and fighting every night. He is always fighting with me. But you know, that stuff, that stuff doesn't mean anything to me anymore. I'm just so used to it. And I guess. I do have a slight problem, but it's nothing serious. I just don't do so well in the heat, especially when there's people outside on the phone judging me, talking about me, and wanting to put me in prison because of how sinful they think that I am. The main thing is. Not to get too excited. The main thing is, this is a new thing for me. The main thing is, not to get too excited. The main thing is, that I am scared of people. I am so scared. I can tell you now that photograph has toothache because of how thick the dental in its teeth is. I would like you to stop calling me and take me off the cigarettes, dry me up and clean me out so I can go and get myself a real job at the 7 Eleven or Quick Trip. Do you know where Quick Trip is? Because it's the first of the month and I have bills that need to be paid. That's why I checked myself in on a 5150. Nobody else was doing it. It was. Three o'clock in the morning, and the same thought kept racing through my mind over and 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 over again. And I just wanted it to stop. So that's why I called up Ghostbusters. Who else are you gonna call? Crisis Intervention Center. The Crisis Intervention Center weren't interested. The Crisis Intervention Center said there was nothing they could do for one night. So that's why I checked myself in on a 5150. The main thing is not to get too excited. The main thing is this is a new thing for me. The main thing is is that they check ahead, see if the bumps show at bruises, or if the electricity is a little different across the top of a skull. The main thing is I am scared of people. I am so scared and I do have a problem. But it's nothing serious. I'm so sorry, but I'm starting to feel slightly uncomfortable out here. Are you comfortable? I think someone is trying to call me. Someone is definitely trying to call me. They are always talking about me. I think, I think that it's best if I leave. Please, please, can I leave?